New developments tonight in a string of murders that once terrorized the Midwest. A long-haul trucker has been arrested 20 years after he was accused of killing a young mother of two. Found strangled, stabbed, and bound along a residential street in Michigan. Correspondent Susan Samples from our News Nation station in Grand Rapids covered those murders when it happened. And tonight she sits down with one of the victim's families for the very first time. In the mid-90s, at least a dozen women, many of them struggling with addiction and selling sex to survive, were found murdered and dumped in and around Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now, the first ever arrest in any of those murders. A Florida-based long-haul trucker is charged with the rape and murder in 1996 of a pregnant mother of two, and he's suspected of the killing of a sex worker in the state of Maryland, too. You are so missed and I miss you so much every day. A graveside visit to women who needed to tell the sister they lost nearly 26 years ago, justice is near. I'm glad that you will have justice now, sister, and we have relief and closure now. And you're up there celebrating with mom and dad. This was the first stop for Tina DeYoung and Terry Novitskis after the news conference on the arrest of Gary Dean Artman for the murder of their sister, 29-year-old Sharon K. Hammock, whose body was found strangled, stabbed, bound, and dumped on 76th near Kraft in October 96. And I hope he rats in hell for what he did. Sharon's case was never forgotten. The Kent County Sheriff's Department and Michigan State Police sent DNA from Hammock's body and a rope used to bind her to a company called Identifinder, which compared it to samples submitted by people tracing their ancestry. Testing so sophisticated it can find a third cousin once removed. It took Identifinder less than a year to find a DNA match in Gary Dean Artman, who lived in Grand Rapids in the mid-90s after serving 11 years for rape in a Michigan prison. Every time we do get a, a, a solved case uh, where we get a match like this, it does help proceed investigations locally as well as potentially statewide or nationally. Memories of when my mom was around. She was always so happy. She was involved. She, I knew she loved us. Eric Harrington has precious few memories of his mom, knew she struggled. He was six when he and his sister were adopted, but he has never forgotten and is grateful for answers. I believe she loved us very much. Even when we were up given for adoption, I don't believe she wanted to. I don't think she wanted to at all. And But I think in her heart, she knew she couldn't give us the best, so she wanted to, you know, allow someone else to give us the world. And we were very fortunate. It's too early to know if Artman can be connected to other murders in Grand Rapids and nationwide, though he's already a suspect in the murder of a woman in the state of Maryland. He was pulled over and arrested while driving a truck in the state of Mississippi, and he remains in jail there awaiting extradition to Michigan. Marnie? All right, we will continue to follow it. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.